when you get a customer in who is trying things on and they find that thing that they fall in love with, you know that what you've done is you've made that for them to enjoy. It's nice when you see someone excited that they've found something that's really cool and they really enjoy it and they're going to wear it to something that night. So you've put that smile on that person's face. So taking it from actually making it and finishing it to then seeing it on someone and how happy they are, that's probably my favorite part of the process. The satisfaction of seeing the growth of the business and the satisfaction of our customers telling us that we're doing the right things and they want to, they're really into what we're doing. I think that's what makes me love it. Latex 1 and 1 is a clothing company, primarily latex, mostly latex. We're based in Windy Armadale in West Lothian in Scotland, making latex clothing accessories for people all over the world. My other half and I, Stuart, set up the company in 2008-ish, hopefully to just do something a bit different with latex fashion and it's kind of grown a bit crazy since. Um, well, there's a fair in Glasgow, so it's every bit of clothing really that's needing to go, so I've been left in the main here. I didn't expect myself a couple of months ago working in a latex company. Um, as I said, I didn't even know they existed. To be fair, when I first, I thought it would have been a wee bit more hardcore. Um, but it's subtle, really subtle compared to what I thought. Um, but at the same time, it doesn't bother me. It really doesn't bother me. I think I probably get the most personal satisfaction when we're out and about at first. All the fairs are quite different, but they all kind of run along the same thing. So we arrive, we set up a stand and make it look as cool as we can. Some people come to us who have never tried latex before, so you turn up to the fair and, and you can tell they're, they're nervous about it all, but what they want is a friendly face. You give them the space to look at what they, they want to have a look at, help them with any questions, and then they've got the opportunity to get things tried on. The fairs, we do about 30 fairs a year. I like to connect with our customers. I like to see them, I like to talk to them, I like to know what they want, understand them a bit, so that we can do something that's really interesting for them. I really like that. It's fun and it's, it allows us to engage with people on a much deeper level. And when you know that you're doing that for somebody, that's what really gives you your mojo about what you're doing. We kind of thought it would be a really good idea to make some things for ourselves. Um, how hard can it be? Turns out pretty hard. A little bit later, tried again and thought actually just, we just need to spend a bit of time at this because we could make some quite cool things. And shorts were what we did. Worked on shorts, got some friends to test them and it kind of went from there. Made more, sold more, made more, sold more. I went down to four days at work day at home making, um, then down to three, two, and then it, eventually it was, it was, there was enough going on that I could do that as my full-time job. Currently at the moment, preparing some shorts for an order. We've got some different styles. We've got the Latex 101 Ultimate Shorts, and we've got the, some hipster shorts. And over there we have some zip shorts. I love when I tell people what I do for a living because it always shocks people but now to me this is just a job it's no different from if I was working in Greg's bakery because it's just my job 
It's fun. I actually enjoy coming to work. There's not not really a day that goes by where I have to go, oh, I have to go to work. You get to learn stuff, you get to be creative, you get to have a laugh. We do everything from shorts, underwear, jeans, t-shirts, catsuits, accessories from collars, cuffs, ties, all that kind of stuff. Um, so the range is quite big and within that there's, there's like multiples of everything so they couldn't even tell you how many different shirt designs, how many shorts. So there's quite a lot, sometimes it's quite hard to keep track of just how many things we do and then you get an order for something that you haven't done for a while and it's like, oh okay, uh, how do I do that one again? <laughs> so the process, if you like, starts with some bright ideas, some sketches and then we make some test pieces. I'm primarily one of the main makers, so my process is taking an order in from a customer. If it's an existing product, then the pattern's there. If it's made to measure, then one of the um, other guys does some work on a pattern. Then you take that through from drawing, cutting, making. Every kind of order we get in is a bit different. It means that you're doing a lot of interesting things quite regularly. Today, I'm going to do a photo shoot with our new hoods, our new set of hoods. So I've set up the studio today and I'm going to then take the photos of the model. After that I'm going to edit all the photos and put them on social media and the website for sale and stuff like that. Working at Latex 101 it's an interesting job to do because it's such a different industry to what everyone else is used to I suppose. It lets me do what I've been educated in as well. Mainly the photography, which I didn't get to do a lot of at university. I'm now doing professionally uh, within the company. And I'm doing that from end to end, from taking the photographs to editing them, to putting them on the website. So it's an interesting experience. The team is what makes this successful. We are so reliant on the goodwill and that family of people pulling together when things are difficult and having fun when things are fun. We're so reliant on them for the success of our, of everything that we do. And they step up every single day. There's nobody in the team who is not just a, a, an amazing part of the success story. And it wouldn't be fair to talk about the company and talk about what I like about the company without saying that I wouldn't have anything about the company if it wasn't for the hard work and dedication of everybody in the team. Ha 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 ha!